What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and today, this guy is all about mirror glazing. Now this technique has been around for a very long time, but it's just exploded in the cake world. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a super simple chocolate cake with a beautiful mirror glaze finish, and then we're gonna take it to the next level and make a mousse dome with a clear watercolor finish. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with my chocolate cake. I'm gonna break these guys down by cutting the tops off and then cutting them in half. Boom, four layers. By the way, if you want any of these recipes, just click the eye in the corner or you can get them from the link in the description box below. Now we're gonna fill them with chocolate buttercream. You guys ever seen mirror glaze before? Never seen it in person. Never seen it in person? Nope, lots You've of seen pictures. it on the internet though? Yeah. All right, now this guy is filled. I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit. We're gonna come back, trim them, and then crumb coat them. So you want your cake to be very, very cold before you get ready to glaze it, but your glaze needs to be the right temperature as well. Now there are plenty of recipes online. I don't fuss with making my own, I actually buy it. This product is called Meral. Uh, and it's very, very good, super, super shiny product, but we've gotta make sure it's at the right temperature. I have one of these laser thermometers. You can get this in any hardware store. Um, you just point the laser and it looks like our glaze is right at 45 degrees. So let's glaze our cake. All right, so I got my cake elevated onto a cake pan. This is just to give it height so the glaze can fall onto my parchment paper. You can do this on a glazing rack as well. I'm just kind of elevating this so you guys can see. Our glaze is at the right temperature. And we're just gonna pour it all over the cake, making sure that you go slow and get every little piece of it. That looks good. We'll give the top one little to get the excess glaze off. Ooh. I seriously can see my reflection in it. Look, I can see Gingy in it too. <laughs> He's so freaked out. He doesn't even care about his leg anymore. All right, so the warm glaze hits the cold cake and pretty much sets immediately. But we have a couple little drips I wanna get rid of. This is still on its board, so I'm just gonna go along the board and wipe off any of the drips we have. By the way, this chocolate glaze tastes really, really good too. So I've got some cocoa nibs here that I added a little bit of gold dust to, and this is actually gonna go around the bottom of our cake because I don't wanna over-decorate this thing. The mirror glaze is beautiful on its own. By the way, cocoa nibs are just roasted cocoa beans that are shelled and busted up, so they're a little bit bitter, so they lend themselves really nicely to something sweet. Just add cocoa nibs to the bottom. So you've probably seen on the internet some of these really cool shaped mirror glazed cakes. These fancy uh, sorry, these fancy entremets that have all these different layers in the middle. I'm going to show you how to make a super simple version of that by making a mousse dome. So I have a silicone dome here. This is from Pavoni. It's a company in Italy. And then I actually just bought a mousse mix from the store and I whipped it up to like a medium peak. You don't want to whip it all the way because then you might get air pockets in your final product. And then I have one layer of my delicious chocolate cake. This is so easy, let me show you. So we're just gonna put some in the bottom of the mold. So now I'm just gonna take and wipe the mousse up the sides. This is to ensure that your outside is completely bubble free. This is why we whip the mousse to medium and not a stiff peak so that you don't have as much air in here and it will be really smooth around the outside. Once the whole dome is covered, we're gonna add a little bit more mousse. It's a new kind of plop. It's like a plop and a, and a bob. Plop and bob, that sounds gross. <laughs> now we're gonna take our chocolate cake. I'm gonna put it right in the middle here. And then to finish this, I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse, the same mousse in my piping bag, and I'm gonna fill in this crevice in between the mousse wall and the cake. All right, so go right up to the top. And that's it, mousse dome made. So we have to get this in the freezer and it must chill for 24 hours so it's completely solidly frozen and we'll pop it out and we'll glaze it to the freezer. So we're gonna glaze the mousse dome a little bit differently. Because the mousse is white, now we can actually use a clear glaze and get a cool ethereal sort of underwater effect. So I'm gonna use this clear neutral glaze this is something you can actually glaze a fruit tart with as well. It's super, super shiny and it will actually protect the fruit. And I've actually dyed it a few different colors. So I added a little bit of luster to each one. So I have a blue, I have a teal, I have a yellow, and then I'm gonna take and put a little bit of gold into this one just to get a little bit more of a shiny effect. Nice little metallic color pop. All right, now all my glazes are at temp and ready to glaze the dome. It's in the freeze, you know where it is. <laughs> A little bit of blue, a little bit of teal, throw in some yellow. Yeah, finish with a little bit of gold. 
looks like the world. So the glaze is set, now I'm just gonna clean up the bottom a little bit because I have a little bit of uh, glaze that are hanging down. And then I'm gonna finish this one similarly to the chocolate cake. But I have some uh, chocolate paillettes here that I added a little gold dust to. We're just gonna put those around the bottom edge. So that's it for Mirror Glaze Cakes, and that is it for this episode of Man About Cake. Let me know what you think in the comments below, like the video, and please subscribe so you can see me make a different cake every week. And right now, I can see myself eating some of this. Let's cut it. Oh snap, that's good.